Hello, xin chào, this is Vanessa Ho again and it, this is going to be a multiple um, video series, okay? Now I'm going to share with you some of the important ways that you can tell that you are in a healthy relationship. But first, how would you like an ongoing supply of free reports, helpful resources and unique cultural insights for meeting, dating and marrying a Vietnamese woman? Too easy. Just take a quick moment to subscribe and click the bell icon and you'll never miss out again. If I get into details for this video, again, I'm gonna remind you and emphasize how important it is for you to be, uh, must be a gentleman in any relationship, I believe, if you want a long term or want to court or getting married with any ladies, especially with a mature Vietnamese ladies, then that's that's always a must. And also, if she said that you want to get married, then you must be ready for it, which uh, which is physical and mentally ready for it uh, in a healthy, balanced state. Okay, okay. So let's go ahead and get into our topic because I have um, maybe was asking like, how can you tell? if you know that relationship is a good relationship or not so that's where you you have the hint and the the, the warning size so for that reason i'm going to share with you uh the 10 top uh, signs that you can tell that you are having you and your lady having a healthy relationship okay so i'm going to share with you the first five today and then on the next video i'm going to share the rest Okay, so the first one that I always been, if you uh, been watching my video, uh, my videos in my channel, you would uh, keep hearing me saying communication. Yes, so that is the number one. If you two can com openly communicate when talking to each other about anything, okay, you can talk about uh, your work, yourself, your background your family and have an openly communication is really really important especially you know with the Vietnamese lady the reason is I have a few of my viewers asking me why it sounded like um, you know in your channel you sh in your videos you sharing it seemed like uh, all the guys have to do a lot more work compared to the the woman side and which is it's not a really uh, balanced healthy relationship and I'm here to share with you to to ensure you that is only when you going out and uh, getting to know her to get into a serious relationship. And yes, because of the Vietnamese culture, we really big into we still uh, male dominated. So for that reason, we still really big into like the guy always be the one the first initiate the relationship or or the spark. Of course, nowadays, because you know, with the, the modern world, we have other uh, cases too where the, the, the female approaches the guy, but that is a small number. So, for that reason, uh, that's why. But then, when you already in a, a really, really serious relationship where you are already th thinking about getting married or so, then it's really important to have a, a openly communication between you two, especially if you are. Uh, having a long distance relationship, then that's even more important because uh, you don't get to see each other, you you don't live locally, or you don't keep next to uh, live next to each other. So really, really important that you can talk to each other because, um, especially you know, with the Vietnamese culture as well, that we uh, um, we tend, especially for those um, a little more mature, like a little in their late thirties or forties, around my age, you know, my generation. Uh, even now, you know, a lot of us still believe that, uh, especially for those who live in Vietnam, that believe that, you know, you're not supposed to talk back to your man, okay? So encourage her if you, you know, encourage her that it's okay for her to, to talk to you. It uh, doesn't mean that you're gonna end the relationship. So just ensure your lady that because that, then you get to know each other and uh, see the difference so you can discuss and find a solution and work it out, right? Okay, and the second thing, uh, a tip, not, the, the second side that I want to share with you is that uh, you argue, you know, like argue is, is healthy. Yes, when I was grown up and was taught that argue 
is not good in any relationship. Okay, you must avoid arguing uh, arguments as as much as possible. Okay, and I'm seeing that in my parents' generation, um, and I've been seeing my parents and their the friends and and a lot of my friends' parents as well. You know that they don't really uh, they they have a lot of resentments uh, among themselves, and they don't talk. They don't because they think that you know. Um, that's the thing, they lack of open communication and then they also, because of that, they don't argue, they don't talk, they think argue is bad and, uh, you know, and I don't want, they don't want that to pass on to the kids. But then, of course, you know, if you are in argue to understand each other and why you, because man and woman is totally two different, um, two different type of, of people, <laughs> human beings, right? Therefore, you know, uh, what you think, uh, what the man thing is different than a woman thing, right? So therefore, it's really important to, and then of course there's going to be arguments. So just accept the fact that there will be arguments in your, or your, in your relationship, but you must do it in a healthy way where, you know, you have the same goal and you want to discuss something and see the differences and work it out. Okay, and number three that I want to share with you is another uh, sign that you can tell if your relationship with your Vietnamese lady is is healthy is that you both have a realistic expectations. Yes, it's really really important, especially in our culture, in Vietnamese culture. When I um, around my generation, you know, we uh, the younger people now in their early twenty or so then they do have that. They do talk it out as you heard Kim and George talk about it. But for a little older, a little more mature Vietnamese woman, you know, we we uh, we were grown up with, you know, like a lot of, because our parents doesn't have open communication, doesn't, uh, don't, didn't, don't argue in front of us and all that. So we think it's all good. And we always think of like growing up and you meet that perfect person and you get married and have kids and have a happy ending. And a lot of the cultures um, and you know, a lot of the story that we was, were taught and learned, it talk a lot about it. So everything is kind of like behind the scene that we don't know. And therefore, when you grow up and without the knowledge of, you know, like of relationship and of marriage, and now in Vietnam, we do, uh, you know, and in the U.S. as well, you know, we do have other classes like life coach, relationship coaches, and counselor, counselor or consultant that you can talk to and get knowledge. And then books, a lot of books about it and seminar and classes that you can take. Like that's what I've been doing for the last almost 10 years. Then um, this will help you have a knowledge about pre-marriage or how, you know, to get into a serious relationship. And that's really, really healthy, that really good that you should, you know, take those classes or attend it and encourage your other half as well to attend it, to have the knowledge of that. Uh, so you can have a realistic expectations that, oh, he's going to go to work. He's not going to be the one that provide everything for you or she not going to be the one that do on the housework when you together, etc. Okay. And another side that I want to share with you today is that if you are, are you in a healthy relationship or not, is that um, the other person would be okay with you to have space and take time, take care of yourself and have space for yourself, such as if he or she call you or if you call her and uh, she, ha she say, oh, I need to go to the gym, I need to have, you know, a good coffee time. I do that uh, with my friends every Monday uh, lunch. I have a group of few, you know, all the women get together for lunch and coffee for a few hours or so. And, you know, respect that, respect that and encourage her to do that. Because, you know, if she, she has a healthy body and mind and also, you know, a happy person. And guess what? You have a happy and healthy relationship as well. You don't want someone who always keep calling and texting you all day, all day, all night. Especially if you have a relationship with a, a Vietnamese lady in Vietnam, then it's like 12, 13 hours, 9, 10 hours difference on the time zone, right? So she gonna, during her day, she gonna keep calling, texting you during the night. There's no way you're gonna be able to go to sleep, right? Okay, and the last one I want to share today 
before I end this video is like you have to have trust with each other yes you need to have trust in and I believe not just a healthy relationship between men and women but also in any relationship with business with work uh, with friendship uh, yeah you need to have trust each other that the other person um, if she or she said that oh she busy or do something that respect that and trust trust her uh, on that and trust on her instant you know encourage her to give her the confidence that yeah even though you are far away you're, or you are apart you know but she uh, you have the trust for her then she, you know I believe even on the men's side too they will strive, thrive even better and better to build that trust for you and if you are in a healthy relationship and you um, thinking about a long term or even a marriage or being together for a long long time uh, then definitely the other person would do their best to build a trust uh, in you two in your relationship with each other okay okay so um, let me summarize the five signs that I, um, sh I just share with you in this video which indicates that you are having a healthy relationship is first of all you can communicate openly with each other secondly is that you argue healthily right you are argue healthily uh, just to point out the differences and work it out on the solution the same solution together okay and then uh, third the third uh, sign is that you have realistic expectations you don't you know you you or she won't have like oh you have to own like a million dollar house or something like that you know just be real with each other so from the beginning when you get to know each other and get a little more serious already then you can talk about your uh, your your personal some of your general personal stuff like oh you know you uh, you work you go to work and you have a, or you have a small business but share with them the you know the, the fact don't over sugar coat it then uh, give her the impression because you if it's a long distance relationship then oh, don't over uh, sugar coat it and then she will expect oh you you have all of the stuff and all that so that's why from the beginning just to be honest uh, honest with each other too right okay and then take time and give them space and um, take care and encourage them to take care of her which in this case what i mean is like uh, encourage her to take care of herself you know get, you know go get a uh, facial done go go to the gym go exercise and then give her some space encourage her to you know not too much though you know just you know say it's okay you know you can go hang out with some of your friends you know get some coffee and and from there it's mean that it's also tell tell her that you trust her with her friends that she won't do anything you know behind your back and all that so trust is the not uh, the the last but not less important side as well okay so once again thanks so much for your time and again thanks so much for your uh sharing your feedbacks and your questions and again we always welcome your thought your feedback or if you have your story you would we would love to hear from you too so uh for all of that common feedback, thoughts, or your own story, your or your own experience, um, please feel free to put it down in the comment section below with us. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out of our upcoming videos. Okay? And once again, this is Vanessa Ho, and thanks so much for your time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your feedback. And I definitely see you next your, uh, in my next video. Okay? Xin chào, hẹn gặp lại. Bye bye.